Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. Today's video is a collaboration that Bretman Rock did with Wit and Wild to create the Jungle Rock collection. It's an entire makeup collection of eyeshadows, highlighters, setting sprays, brushes, mascaras, and out of that collection, I of course got the three lip glosses and this is what they are. I just love the fun pink packaging of these lip glosses. And I am just gonna read here or give you a quick description of the collection. So it's the Wet n Wild and Bretman Rock Collection, the Jungle Rock Collection. And it's inspired by Bretman Rock's wild style, bold attitude, and ferocious personality. And if you have no idea who Bretman Rock is, which I would be completely shocked <laughs> if you didn't, but he is a huge personality. He has a YouTube channel, he is on Instagram, and I follow him on all social medias. You can definitely Google him, find him. He has a very big, bright, and bold personality and a bag of chips on the side. So you will definitely enjoy his content. But yeah, it's very reflective of Bretman Rock. I look at this and I say, yeah, this does look like Bretman Rock. I love the pink. I love the palm trees on the cover. And if you don't know, he does live in Hawaii. So the palm trees and just the Caribbean theme is also a reflection of him. So yeah, without any further ado, I am just going to go ahead and get these lip glosses swatched. Also to give you just a little background of the product, I'm just reading everything here from the Wet n Wild website. So it says that it's available in three universally flattering shades, which I have here. It gives lips amplified volume with a brilliant three dimensional luster. And it's, it has an exclusive fruit blend of coconut, papaya, dragon fruit, and kakadu plum extract. Hope I pronounced that right. Um, the extract provides vitamins E and C and antioxidant properties, keeping lips nourished and moisturized. It's ultra lightweight, glass-like finish with zero stickiness. It has amplified volume and a brilliant three-dimensional luster. I said that already. And infused with the scent of tropical flowers. Okay, so now that we have a little background of the lip glosses, we can go ahead and start swatching them. So this is the shade Ferocity and this looks more like a champagne with shimmer type of lip gloss. Well, it's supposed to have like a tropical fruit blend or fragrance of coconut and papaya it described. I do get a little bit of the papaya, I just don't get the coconut. It also described that these are supposed to have like a translucent finish for a high shine look. And this is Ferocity. Well, I like the doe foot applicator. It's very firm and allows me to easily maneuver the gloss around my lips. Um, as far as the color, like it described, it's very translucent. It's really not that different from any other lip glosses that are just a regular type of lip gloss. It does have that shimmer in there. You can see the little gold specks of shimmer on the lip gloss, which gives it a little bit more character and personality rather than just a simple clear gloss. And depending on how pigmented your lips are as well, these may not show up at all. So just wearing a regular clear gloss is probably the best option for you and i'm assuming this is how all three lip glosses are going to look on me besides the the color of the shimmer the only thing that's going to change is the shimmer colors 
So this one's gold and I assume that this is how all the other shades are going to look on me. I would say that it can pass, but I'm not like super crazy about it. And just so you know, the glosses, uh, they do come off pretty easily and they do also leave your lips feeling quite moisturized. So even as your gloss begins to fade throughout the day, you're still left with that really soft, moisturized lips. So they do get bonus points for that. Next shade up is Fearless. This one just looks a little bit more translucent than the first one. So. Mm. Yeah, this one is a lot more sheer than the first one. Or it might be that the shimmers aren't as pronounced as the first one, Ferocity. But I can barely see the shimmers in this one. If I were to compare this with Ferocity, I think this one was a lot more fun and the shimmers were a lot more pronounced in this one compared to Fearless. This one just swatched to me like a regular clear sheer lip gloss. Nothing really special about it. So yeah, um, the shimmers are a lot more subtle than the first one, but this is what it looks like. And lastly, but not leastly, we have this fun purple holographic looking shade. And this one is called Freaky, all right? So compared to the previous one that I did, you can see some of the purple holographic shimmers in this one. So I think this one is a little bit more fun. But this one here is called Freaky and this is what the swatch looks like. Okay, so let's get a little recap in of the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild Jungle Rock collaboration. So these are the three lipstick shades. As far as the formula, I do feel that the formula is creamy and it's also very lightweight. It doesn't get, it doesn't feel heavy on my lips at all. And I like that it was so creamy and smooth. The application was very easy. The doe foot applicator is quite sturdy and it really does help to maneuver around the lips and the corners. So the formula is also described as a sheer or translucent finish. So what that means is that you're not really gonna get a lot of pigment or bold color from these glosses and that's kind of a disadvantage to you if you already have pigmented lips like i do so what that also means is that the lip gloss is not gonna show very much if you already have pretty pigmented lips so yeah as far as the formula i think the formula is definitely great uh the smell it described it as having some sort of coconut, papaya, and another fruit I can't remember. But I did smell the papaya more than the coconut, so which I don't mind because I do love me some papaya. Um, but also the scent is not overpowering at all. Like right now I can't really smell anything on my lips. Um, so as far as the stickiness, like I said, it doesn't feel heavy on the lips, but we're just gonna do the hair test right now to see. And obviously it will stick to your hair. Like I always say, all lip glosses are sticky to some degree. Some are just way stickier than others and these glosses are no different. 
they do have a little bit of stickiness even though it was described as um, being non-sticky that's always a huge claim because if your lips are wet which glosses naturally are things are gonna stick to it so you can't really claim non-sticky so how I relate stickiness is how is by the weight and how heavy it feels on my lips as far as the weight it doesn't feel heavy at all it really does feel weightless on the lips but at the end of the day as you drink it's gonna stick to your glass as you eat it's gonna stick to your fork if the wind blows it's gonna stick to your hair and that's just the bottom line as far as the pricing these go for I think five bucks four ninety nine five bucks and um, from a consumer point of view I think these are shades that are already a part of your collection these are shades that already exist and that you can probably find for a more affordable price but if you are a fan of Bretman Rock and you just want to buy it to support him I say 100% go for it because I am not here to stop anyone's bag. I do enjoy Britman Rock's content. I think he is very smart and entertaining and he is out here working, getting his bag. So I do support him for that. But like I said, from a consumer point of view, getting all three of these is absolutely not necessary because you probably already have them in your collection. and. As far as how it swatches, they are more sheer and translucent. So there's really not anything special about them. The shades already exist. I would say my two favorite shades was the first one, Ferocity, and the last one, which is Freaky. I think these are great lip glosses, but they would be even more amazing if you wear them in the nighttime. I think you would see a lot more of the characteristics of the gloss and the shimmers in there during the nighttime than the daytime. Because while filming this video, I went into, the, into my bathroom and my bathroom is a little bit darker. And I looked at my lips and I was like, oh my gosh, there's not much lighting in there. And I really did see the difference from like a well-lit place to a more darker place. It's a lot more fun and even more beautiful in a, a darker space. So that's how I know they're gonna be a lot more fun in the nighttime. As far as this shade, Fearless, this one just straight up swatched clear. So there was nothing really unique about this shade. But if I had to choose, I would say these two are my favorite. But that's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe so that you can continue to see more lipstick swatch videos from me. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye.